Hey, what's up? This is the movie review of Hamlet 2. I actually saw this a month ago because my friend brought me like some DVD crap. Like not even a month ago, like maybe two months ago actually. Uh, I saw it. I saw it like on a perfect, like pretty much a DVD. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to make this short. Okay, Hamlet 2 is one of the funniest movies I've seen in my whole life. Well, maybe not. Definitely the funniest movie I've seen this year. Okay, I'm gonna say it's better than Tropic Thunder. And I'm gonna say it's better than uh. Pineapple Express, but barely, but it's definitely better. Not not like, oh my god, it's like fucking godly special. Like, that's kind of funny seeing that there's a freaking musical called Rock Me Sexy Jesus. Uh, yeah, well, well, uh, that, obviously, it's, uh, pretty much the same thing. I mean, like, uh, I mean, pretty much... God damn it. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about anymore. I'm looking at something, so sorry. Um, yeah, well, pretty much the same thing you saw on uh, YouTube, except they, it's a little longer. If you ever saw it on YouTube, it's not very popular. But anyway, if you didn't see the music, if you didn't see Rock Me Sexy Jesus, at least watch that. But the rest of the movie is also funny. I would say Amy Poehler, if you, if you know her, she's funny as hell. Even though she's only in this for about ten minutes, she's funny as hell. There's a joke, she, she well, nah, let me, let me just be quiet, because if I say all the stuff she says, then pretty much I ruined uh, her whole freaking performance, okay? So, she's good. Uh, Catherine Keener, she's annoying, I hated her. And David Arquette, he doesn't even, he barely even, he's barely even in the movie, really. When he is, he doesn't even talk, so that's pretty much his best kind of roles, where he just sits there and doesn't do anything. Uh, so, he was okay, actually, really. I thought he was like the... In the beginning, I thought he was like, you know, the cool guy. I mean, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so the story's pretty much save the rec center. Yeah, if you ever did that, except they had to save the drama class. Uh, to to well, how do they do that? Well, they make a uh, they make a screenplay, Hamlet two, and obviously, if you ever watched Hamlet in the theaters or not the theaters, you know, like. Plays. If you ever saw it on plays, or you read the book, or the poem, or whatever the fuck it is, uh, then you know that everybody in Hamlet dies, including Hamlet. So what 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 does he do? Well, he makes a uh, Hamlet uh, stay alive by the help of Jesus Christ, <laughs> which is funny because uh, actually Steve Coogan, the guy who pretty much teaches the class, he actually plays Jesus in the uh, place, which is funny, uh, he does some, he has some pretty funny lines, and of course the awesome Rock Me Sexy Jesus musical, uh, he's like, there's one funny part where he's like, okay, alright, Hamlet, alright, got my cell phone number, right, Hamlet's like, yeah, I got it, like, alright, <laughs> I don't know what was funny about that, I was like, <laughs> oh, cool, yeah, I guess Jesus has a cell phone, what's his number, <laughs> I'll call him like, yo, Jesus, you want to wanna go to the club? <laughs> I don't know. I'm stupid. Call me stupid. Anyway, uh, yeah, this this game, I mean, this movie, this game, I'm about to actually review Mercenaries 2. Don't, I, don't tell me how I played it. Don't ask me how I played it, but whatever. Anyway, Hamlet 2, it's a good movie. It's uh, really good, actually. Uh, Amy Poehler does great. I mean, of course, Elizabeth Shue. You probably heard if you saw a commercial or just saw trailers. And introducing the return of Elizabeth Shue, which she does really good. She does some pretty funny parts, like uh, one time she had to give a blowjob or a handjob or something like that. I forgot. I saw this movie a couple days ago, actually. I saw it a month, two months ago, but I had to see it again in the theaters. Uh, man, there was... And really, there was more people in there than a uh, disaster movie, which is kind of sad seeing that disaster movie was in, like, what, 3,000 theaters, and this was in 1,000. And my, my theater always has, my, my theater has small releases, like, they still have the counterfeiters. I don't even know how many theaters that in, probably in, like, three or four, my theater has the counterfeiters, which I heard was, was a really good movie. Anyway, let me get to Hamlet 2. Hamlet 2, great movie. I can't talk about much, so I'm just going to say... Really good movie. Go check it out. I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. Really good. It's definitely going to be on my top 10. I don't care what you say. Rate my video low. 
Because you're probably thinking, oh, you just like that musical. No, I actually like the movie itself. And you're probably going, oh, you just like the stupid humor. And yes, I did. <laughs> Maybe it's because I saw a disaster movie the same day as this, and then I went to this, and I was like, okay, this is funny. Disaster movie just made me feel ashamed of liking movies. Anyway... Thank you. 9.5 out of 10. Uh, maybe lower if I saw it again. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I saw Alone in the... I mean, not Alone in the Dark. What the fuck am I talking about? Uh, maybe it's because I just saw a disaster movie. Anyway, thank you, and bye. 9.5 out of 10.